Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. Star Wars The Clone Wars, Season 1, Episode 10, Lair of Grievous. So, okay, before we get started, I just want to say I did make a post on Twitter and on the community part of YouTube, the community section that will appear for you guys, like little paragraphs you can post as a content creator. Um, I did post that we are quitting watching the Bleach anime series because... I'm just not very interested in it. Like I said at the beginning of, um, of reacting to stuff, if I do get bored of something, I'm going to going to probably quit it. But um, yeah, Bleach just isn't holding my interest. And it's one of my least viewed things on here anyways. I don't think many people will care too much. Um, but you can see it in my reactions and stuff. I just really don't. I don't know. I, I don't like it that much. And I've been getting a lot of comments and stuff saying that Bleach isn't really even a good, that good of an anime. And the manga gets really bad as well near the end. And the first arc is like the best. I mean, I should make this a whole separate video. I shouldn't put this in the Clone Wars reaction really. But I'm just saying that as because uh, I just posted it. So people might be coming to the comments and asking why. If anyone cares about Bleach. I don't know. I just don't care about it too much. People say the first arc is the best. And if I don't even like the first arc, then there's really no point of just going on. I don't like the characters that much. Anything about it. I don't know. Well... Once one of these shows ends, maybe we'll go back to Bleach if I get a lot of comments of people wanting me to watch it again. But so far, just Bleach hasn't held my interest at all. That's it. That's all I want to say about Bleach. Clone Wars. So last time on Clone Wars, um, we met General Unduli. Uh, I think her name is Luminara Unduli, which I wrote down. She is a Jedi Master, and she was with Ahsoka. They had um, General... not General. They had the Gunray dude. Um, I forgot the first... What's his race called? Are they the Gunrays or was that his name? Something Gunray. Um, forgot it. But they had him. Ventress came. Ventress got Gunray. Um, killed the one dude that betrayed them. The one Prince Charming looking dude. And um, Ventress is off with Gunray to Grievous, I think. Or maybe Dooku. I don't know. Somewhere. They're off to somewhere. And now we got a General Grievous episode, because it is called Lair of Grievous, so I mean, it's gotta be General Grievous. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the Prince Charming guy was uh, a Senate Commando. A lot of the Senate Commandos died last episode, or at least the ones that came to the ship, they all like, basically died. Most powerful is he who controls his own power. Viceroy, that's what's his, that's his name. Viceroy Gunray. Kitfisto. Alright, I've seen this dude in the Attack of the Clones or something. Kitfisto. And he's got R6 as a droid. Master Fisto. Look out for me, okay? <laughs> Nada! Congratulations on passing the tribes. Oh. We got a little fish Jedi Knight over here. Then let's have a look. Allow me to show the way. Oh. Airbender. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> this will make less noise. True. The both of you. A second look usually pays off. There's a button there the whole time. A second look. Wise wise Jedi Master. Smell like George to me. Oh, what's gonna be here? Like some alien stuff. This looks like the inside of like an alien ship. I sense there's something. Wait, if this is Grievous' lair, there's going to be a bunch of Grievous-type aliens, right? Uh-oh. Because Grievous is an alien, then they just gave him robot parts or something? I don't actually know. He's not actually in that chair. <laughs> He's not even in that chair. What the heck is happening? So... Why does this episode look way better? Did they did they do something to the graphics? It looks a lot better. I don't know why. Oh, dude, this is cool watching a little a fish fight. <laughs> I never see one of these guys as a Jedi. I didn't forget to teach you restraint, did I, my old Padawan? I am sorry, Master. 
I got carried away. Those who have power should restrain themselves from using it. Lieutenant, mm. did you think yeah, that's just a hologram? I welcome you to your doom. <laughs> it's a trap. Say it. Mm -hmm. This has got to be a trap. It looks like Duke. I guess they're going through. Whoa, who is that? Is that? That looks cool. Whoever that is. But I feel like that's like Grievous without his armor. Oh, is it? This place looks like a shrine to that strange warrior. Strange warrior. Oh, they're leading Jedi's in here because he takes their lightsabers. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. The lair of General Grievous. There is concern. Yeah, even I've been concerned. He keeps just running away. Oh. True. <laughs> that is so true. This is reminding me of the, uh... The base on Geonosis. With, like, all the lava stuff flowing through and Anakin and Padme go in there. Or. Oh. Welcome home, General. I'm afraid I must request your surrender. <laughs> oh. And perhaps the Senate will be merciful. It is you who shall get no mercy. Oh, and he's gonna take their lightsabers if he kills them. Oh, here he got. Here he got two more loaded up. Oh. Some Horizon Zero Dawn action in here. Don't let it go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's doing his little crawling thing. You can do that in Battlefront. Don't make me destroy you. Oh, that's cool. Spinning his hands. <laughs> Dude, Grievous is insane. It's so cool. Can they not force pull him or anything? Nice, he's about to replace his legs. He's so prepared. Like, yes, all, all his parts everywhere. To just replace instantly. <laughs> Is that gore? <laughs> oh. Oh no. What happened to my bodyguards? They were remotely deactivated for recharge. Oh, Dooku did it. Oh, here they are. Little purple lightning staff boys. Oh, they're watching them already. They got a smart rocket. Oh, no. That is brutal. Oh, R6. <gasps> no. Get out of there, R6. Now. <laughs> okay, good. Our sex is escaping. Except this uh, dude attached to him still. Take him off. Ooh. <laughs> this is like a saw game. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, there we go. Oh, this is literally a saw. He's got traps set up everywhere. Oh no, it's gonna close, right? Wow, dude. That one clone trooper fell in lava. <laughs> or ooh, what the heck is that? Okay, I thought the robot might have been Gore. Stand firm. Oh. <laughs> I like Grievous's lair, dude. This is cool. What is that? It's not a rain core. It's like a. I have no idea. I wonder who voices this droid. Sounds kind of familiar. This dude's got even more arms than Grievous, jeez. Oh, take off his mask. Oh, what the heck? This pain with removing his mask? Oh, nice. That should just kill it instantly. You're just... 
Dude, these clone troopers are getting destroyed in this in this lair. Does that have a hand on its tail? Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, it does. Oh, nice. This is going to pay for this. I will destroy. kill them. I understand your pain, but you forget your teachings, Nada. Revenge is not the Jedi way. Perhaps mm. you are the one who has changed. Yeah. This guy has been the whole episode not following the ways of the Jedi. I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> Gore. <laughs> yeah, he's testing him. Beavis has to prove himself to Dooku again. Mm-hmm. Exactly what I said. Yeah, announce that over the entire intercom. There's no time to argue. We can't just run, we must finish him. <laughs> oh no. They're gonna get separated now. Yeah, this dude. You're gonna die. Oh, he's doing some work to them. Oh, okay. Oh no. This could literally be like a whole like a whole horror film right here. If they wanted to make it whole horror short film about like Jedi's being stuck in Grievous' lair. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's gonna watch him die here. Oh. He's got a blaster loaded up. That's what happens. Your master told you. Uh oh. So I'm at the platform. Still some out there though. Oh. Yeah, the shots in this episode are so great. Oh. <laughs> A little Ahsoka technique. She did this in Mandalorian. Oh. That power will only Dual. Dual wield. Nice, ah, finally using the force. It's Grievous doesn't have the force. Might as well use it on him. Oh no. How quickly power can change hands. Surrender and I promise you will die swiftly. Is that another one? Wait, I'm so confused. He was just fighting him and then he came out again. That was very weird. Backflip. Yep. <laughs> so they came for Gunray, didn't get him, but they really did nothing, actually. Oh no, he's lying to him, though. Oh, okay, he's not. So there is room for improvement. This episode is good. It's like a, it's like an opposite of last episode, almost. Yeah, okay, it's over. Um, well, let's look at the quote in the beginning again. Most powerful is he who controls his own power. Exactly, that's exactly what the episode was about. Um, it's kind of not contradictory to last episode, but kind of like just opposite. Because last episode, um, it was like, it was like choose your own decisions based on how you feel about them almost. Um, I forgot exactly what it was, but... It was like the Jedi Master was telling Ahsoka not to do this one thing, but then Ahsoka believed in herself and trusted her instincts and did it. Um, and it proved to, I mean, she kept the Jedi Master alive by doing it. So she trusted in her instincts, and sometimes your instincts are the better option than listening to whatever. Like, let follow your heart or listen to your heart, which this Jedi Knight tried to do. Um, I wrote down his name. Um, Nadar, yeah. Nadar, the Jedi Knight, tried to do that, pull on Ahsoka a little bit, maybe pull on Anakin, but um, I guess it wasn't though. His instincts were not the wisest option in this case. So, I don't know, between this and last episode, it's kind of just like, sometimes your instincts are going to be right, sometimes they're not. Um, I guess his were wrong because they weren't even the Jedi way in the first place. Um, Ahsoka was still 
Ahsoka's still following all the Jedi ways, doing what she was doing. But, um, oh my gosh, I hit my headphones. But this dude just wasn't following the Jedi ways the entire episode. He was all about revenge and avenging the deaths of his fallen comrades. But, um, yeah, that's not the, that's not the way. So, anyways, this was a really good episode, though. Grievous' lair? I don't know what that gore thing was. I don't know what that creature was. I could probably just look it up right now. But that was crazy. It has like a hand on its tail. Kind of reminded me of Saw this whole episode. He had like this whole maze and a bunch of traps in there. Just setting off like a floor trap and opening it up. Making someone fall into lava. That was kind of cool. But yeah, overall, great episode. Good message. Control your own power. Because that is the most powerful you can be. If you're in control of yourself. And uh, Nadar was not in control of himself. So he let revenge get the best of him. And that's about it. They didn't really do anything in the lair. Um, they destroyed his bot that can put him back together. His med bot. Um, destroyed his pet. And got a bunch of clones and a Jedi Knight killed. So not much they did. They didn't rescue Vice for a gun ray. Um, and I have no idea what next episode is going to be. Because these episodes have been like about different characters each time. So I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.